Hello all, my name is Kayomars. In this tutorial, we will model texture and light and interior in 3ds Max using V-Ray. So let's get started. So very first of all, take a reference. So go into rendering, view image file and take a reference. So we have a reference of this particular image. So very first of all, we'll go into this, we'll check its properties. It's 1365, the dimensions and 1024. So you can go into this, rendering, render setup. Into this, you have the width 1365 by 1024. So as you make it, and if you render it, it will render in this size. So very first of all, take a plane over here. You can take a plane either from a top view or you can take it uh, onto from the perspective view. So let's take a plane over here. Go over here onto the top view. Go over here. Take go into AC extended. Take a wall and make a wall over here. So you can even use the snap options. So if you want to make it, you can use the snap options. So it will, uh, you know, if you want to make it perpendicular vertex, it should fit to the particular grid, right? So it should snap. You can use the snap option over here. So just scale it down. So we'll place the camera afterwards. So, so we have this reference. So we'll start with this, the wall part. Go into the standard, take a box and make a frame over here. So start making this frame over here. So you can convert this into poly. You can select and push it a bit up. Select this, push this over here, scale a bit. You can push this out. So convert to editable poly. And you want to make it look like a frame. So select this and give inset and click OK. So now after doing this, what you can do over here is you can select this all the edges of it and you can give a bit of a chamfer so if you give a chamfer it will be a bit smoother and you can push this a bit inside or you can just bevel a bit inside for the frame that's it so as you can see now it looks like a frame so we'll copy this particular frame press shift and drag and make two more copies select this vertices and shift a bit backward back side says we need more of the particular angle so you can even scale it scale it like this and you can scale it this particular way Okay, now 
it is not fitting that so you can just uh, shift tab set it accordingly okay so we can make this the kind of a wall cabinet for that you can take one box over here so let's take a box into this take a box press shift and make a copy of it so you can make four to five copies press R and scale a bit okay perfect now after doing this you have an option over here called line tool use the line tool over here so use the line tool over here go into this line tool enable in viewport and reduce this press shift and make one more copy so you can just select this press shift and make one more copy over here okay so you have a uh, attachment over here for that take a rectangle take a small rectangle after taking a rectangle uh, right click convert to editable spline go into the spline select all these vertices you can go down and there is an option called fillet so you can use this fillet option to make it round go into this modifier list and there is a modifier called extrude so you can give a modifier called extrude and convert this to ideal poly so let me save this file first so you can shift this over here you can make it look a bit bigger you can utilize all the views so you can shift this over here you can this over here select this both and you can just copy it like this okay so you can go into the side view and you can take one more line so which gets a shape over here okay so you can just make one more copy okay, great so select this and shift this over here like this it in this way that coincides over here 
so make one more copy set it in that way so it should exactly coincide that particular shape so as you can see that it's created so if you want to resize it so you can resize it a bit you can make it look a bit bigger that's it okay so you can keep the books over here so for the books you can go on to this top view so take a box so that's all a part of texturing so we'll just take this push it up over here resize it on the top and you can make n number of copies over here so you can just select this all convert to editable poly so after converting this to editable poly you can you can resize it accordingly whatever your book size is there so you can just uh, select all these books again can just make a copy of this and push it a bit in this one side you can make multiple copies out of it so if you don't require any books you can just delete it copy all this okay so thanks for watching this tutorial we'll continue in the next session